Will Mars really be our next home? Let me give you the clean snapshot, pros versus risks, so you can decide if packing a one-way ticket makes sense. First, the pros, backup for humanity. A self-sustaining city on Mars means a plan B for pandemics, supervolcanoes, our own mistakes. Mars has land, like a whole planet of it. You could expand without bulldozing rainforests or fighting over coastlines, water ice for drinking, for growing, for rocket fuel, carbon dioxide for plants, regolith for construction, sunlight for power, innovation rocket boost, energy storage breakthroughs, closed-loop life support, radiation shielding tech, efficient agriculture. Now, the risks. First, radiation. No global magnetic field, thin atmosphere, more cosmic rays and solar storms. Solutions look like underground habitats, water walls, regolith domes, but even then, cancer risk rises. Second, gravity that's too low, 38% of Earth's gravity. Unknown effects on bones, hearts, brains, rotating habitats might be needed. Third, the atmosphere is basically not breathable. Mostly CO2, very thin and cold. Step outside without a suit and you don't get a second chance. Fourth, logistics. Launch windows every 26 months, delays, dust storms, equipment failures. True independence means food, water, parts, medicine. Fifth, psychology. Small crews, far from Earth with a 4 to 24 minute delay on every call. Isolation and conflict can break missions. Architecture for mental health matters as much as air and heat. So, where does that leave us? I see three stages. Stage 1, foothold, heavy shielding, hydroponics, strict recycling. Everything is fragile, nothing is permanent, every kilogram matters. Stage 2, resilience, local fuel from ice, bricks from regolith, greenhouses that close their own loops, modular habitats, non to connect, emergency caches multiply, crews rotate reliably. Stage 3. Settlement. Partially underground neighborhoods. Rotating habitats for Earth-like gravity. Factories that repair their own machines. The timeline. If launches stay cheap and we solve shielding, life support, and gravity health. Outpost in the 2030s. Resilience in the 2040s. First true settlement in the 2050s or 2060s. Big ifs, but not science fiction. Bottom line. Can Mars be our next home? Yes. If we treat it like a marathon, not a flex. The pros are civilization scale, the risks are human scale and immediate. So would I go. If the base can make its own air, water, parts, and there's a gym, a garden, a good window with a view of Phobos, yeah, I'd call that home.